welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some big heckin' chunky books that I want to be reading this year. The first book I'm hoping to read this year, which is very long, is The Wind Up Bird Chronicle. I didn't realise this was a long book until I looked at my shelves and I thought, hmm, I do want to read that. It looks quite thick. Is it actually that long? Um, it's nearly 600 pages, just over 600 pages long. So I count big books as around that mark, so around 550 upwards is what I class as a big book. Uh, I don't know much about this book, other than that I think there are quite a lot of magical realism themes within it. I only know this because of Ariel Besset's video. Uh, other than that I know basically nothing. Uh, the, view, the review on the front says a giant metaphysical detective story about love, pain, war, reality and history. Magnificent. It doesn't actually mention magical realism there, but there must be some themes in there, otherwise Ariel wouldn't have made a video about it. The next book I want to read. Oh, I've been wanting to read this book ever since I bought it. Why well, haven't I read it yet? It's big. And it's The Book Thief. Now here's the thing, I didn't think The Book Thief was that big a book. The text in it is pretty big uh, compared to uh, The Wind Up Bird Chronicle where the text is pretty small, for my standards anyway. So I don't actually know if this is actually going to take me a long time, but again it is over 550 pages so in my terms it is a big chunk. What do I know about this book? I know that nothing really. And uh, you are going to die. Oh fabulous, that's wonderful. That's really helping my <gasps> phobias right now. Um, 1939, Nazi Germany, the country is holding its breath, death has never been busier. So it seems like it's set in World War II, that kind of thing. I don't know who the book thief is, but I just know that there's a big theme of death around it. So I don't think I've ever heard any bad things about it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I really need to get into it. I don't know why my version is so big, but I love it. I love this version. I've just realised that the in the pages are really nice as well. The next book, oh my god, it's so tragic. It's so tragic how many times I've tried to read this during a read from. It's just terrible. I feel like this is going to become a meme. Like me saying I want to read this book over and over again and then I never read it. And it is... I bet you can guess. Come on, can you guess? Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. Ah, oh, God. Right, okay, so in February, I was supposed to read this for Valentine's. In April, I was supposed to read this for the last weekend readathon. I didn't read it. I didn't read it on either occasion. I just don't know what's wrong with me. I just... Well, there's nothing wrong with me. I just can't commit to things. That is the obvious conclusion we have got from this. What is Wolf Hall about? Oh my god, I'm sick of talking about it now. It's about Thomas Cromwell in uh, the age of when the monarchy was just... <coughs> axed. So, once Charles I got the old beheading. Uh, the thing is, Thomas Cromwell, it was Oliver Cromwell who was the cool one, who was the famous one. So, Thomas Cromwell... Mm, We'll see what that's about. I, I just need to read it. I need to read it. Oh my god. I'm so I'm so terrible. <laughs> Next I want to read. I don't feel too strongly about reading this one. Mind you, yeah. The Parisian by Isabella Hamad. So what I know of this is I think it's a story about an immigrant who goes to Paris and tries to find work. I don't know where they're from, I can't remember, I only briefly read about it, like I, well I haven't said, but like I've said in previous videos, I don't really like um, reading the synopsis before I read it, if that makes sense. So this is an ARC copy, that's why it says April 2019 on the so this was free to me, I just picked it up from work, when I did work, rest in peace. Uh, so yeah, that should be interesting. Again, big, big boy. And lastly, yes, there's only like five on here. This looks like a baby compared to the Parisian, and it is the Luminaries. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. What is this book about? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I know it's a historical fiction. I know it was long listed for the man. Oh wait, no, it won. It won the Man Booker Prize of 2013. Other than that, I don't know. I don't want to read the blurb. I've just read New Zealand, 1866. Uh, so it's obviously set in New Zealand at 1866. Yeah, there's obviously a big historical fiction theme here. I, I'm getting into more... Indo 
I'm getting more into historical fiction, hence why so many historical fictions. I've just piled them up and I want to cry a little bit. These are the big boys I want to read. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look how many pages there are there. Am I going to do it? Probably not. Uh, I, I would say I would like to, but I just think it's... I'm a pessimist, basically. If you're trying to read more big books this year, let me know. I'm, of course, doing this because Ariel was doing it, and I have to do everything that Ariel does because she is my muse. Basically, she's inspired me, man. She's inspired me. Like what she does with everything. So will I get through all these? Probably not. But I'm going to try. Or maybe I'm not going to try. I don't know. I'd just like to read them at some point in my existence. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, if you can believe it. Goodbye!